Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Big Matt, and today I'm going to be using the TX 3300 you see in the background to demonstrate a remote control that this guy named Nathan Stevens has developed. Uh, it runs by Bluetooth, so I've got I've got the program loaded onto my uh, Android uh, phone. The unit's in play now, so I'll press pause and get another camera angle. So it's down, it's down on that end. So when I, when I press play, the unit goes into play. Uh, fast forward. And then going to rewind. And stop. Really neat device. Uh, I'll show you a picture of it. Get pulled up. Uh, it fits inside this little box. You've got an Arduino and a couple of uh, relays that he's he's got connected and a Bluetooth uh, receiver. The blue cable connects to the rear of the uh, the TX, and the black cable is a, a power supply that just plugs into a 110 volt. This right now this is a prototype, so it's, it's kind of bulky. Uh, I guess future plans would be to streamline this thing by just making it putting all that uh, all those components on a little IC or a small circuit board and uh, cut down on the on the bulkiness of the of the project but that being said man this is just a really neat uh, project you, you can you can see uh, Nathan's work at the link that I provided in the in the description this remote control is just the the tip of the iceberg of what Nathan is really working on. He's got this project called Cassette Flow, and without going into too much detail, I, I want to go into detail, but I know I'll just uh, butcher everything that he's doing, trying to explain it. In a nutshell, he loads some information onto an analog tape. It can be a cassette, reel-to-reel, -reel, whatever, and he doesn't put the entire song on there. He just puts in enough information so that once that part of the tape runs through the head and sends that information over to a DAC or whatever that initiates uh, the digital file for that song and that song is playing a digital uh, format of that song was playing over a over a stereo really really neat project that, that uh, Nathan is working on this uh, remote control uh, portion of it is basically just an it was almost like an afterthought it appeared as he was as I was watching this video but it's something I locked on to but these are the kind of guys that man we really need in the real to real community to bring these things uh, into the 21st century because as nice as the components are on these machines there are a lot more efficient uh, components that can take the place of some of these older components that go on these machines uh, that are hard to find or impossible to find there's a, a better way of doing it that's not to take away from the the real-to-real -real purists that want to keep everything old and original, I get that, but there's certainly room for people uh, to modernize these older real-to-reels. I'm off my soapbox, but again, if you could check out Nathan, ask him a bunch of questions, man, and uh, he's a really good guy. He'll share all the information that he knows he willingly. I mean, it's just a really, really good guy to, uh, to chat with, but that's the demonstration for today. I'll give it one more play. I just absolutely love this thing. All right, Big Matt with the uh, Nathan Stevens Bluetooth remote control for this one is for the TX uh, A series non auto reverse wheel to reel.